and welcome to day four. We're going to be talking about Matthew 26, 17 to 35 today. On the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus and said, where do you want us to make preparations to eat the Passover? Jesus said, go into the city to a certain man and tell him that the teacher says, my time is near and I will eat my Passover at your place with my disciples. Wow, how cool is that? Well, while they were eating, Jesus said, truly, one of you will betray me. Jesus was telling his disciples that one of his disciples was going to turn their back on him. And they all looked at each other and said, surely not I, Lord. And Jesus said, the one who dips with me in the bowl, he is the one who will betray me. That was Judas. He said, surely not I, Rabbi. But Jesus said, you have said it. And as they were eating, Jesus took that bread and he blessed it. And he gave it to the disciples and he said, take and eat. He was telling them that he was going to die on the cross for our sin. He gave them the bread to eat, meaning his body, and he gave them the juice to drink as if it were his blood and said, eat and drink these things. And as you do, and for all the times that you do in the future, do it to remember me. And then Jesus told them that they would scatter and that Peter, Peter, the disciple that followed Jesus so carefully, Jesus said to him, truly I tell you, tonight you will betray me three times. You will deny me. You will tell people three times that you don't know me. Peter said, no, no, Lord, I would never do that. And all the other disciples said the same thing. Now, when we do the Lord's, Lord's Supper at our church, we take the bread and we take the juice just like the disciples did. And we remember what Jesus did on the cross for us. Jesus knew that he would bleed and die on the cross for our sin. So why do you think he would do that? Why do you think that he would die on the cross for our sin? I think it's because he loves us so, so much. Do something with me. Take one of your arms and go like this, then take the other one and go like this and give yourself a really big hug. Because you know what? Jesus loves you so, so much. Now, mom and dad, we've got a cool activity for you today, to do today with your kids. If you can find a bowl and fill it with some water and then find a towel. There's a story in the Bible that you can read with your kids and it is from John chapter 13 verses four and five. And it talks about at that same supper where Jesus was serving the bread and the, and the wine or the juice that he washed his disciples' feet. You too can read that verse and show love to your children and show that same service by washing their feet. Have a great day.